Hello everyone, welcome back to the platformer lessons. This will be a short lesson to show and explain the practice that was assigned in the last lesson. If you haven't tried it yet, please try it on your own before continuing on. Your goal was to create a turnip enemy, a new enemy that will fly and patrol around a certain area. The first task is to set up the animation for him. The animation for this one was much shorter than the other ones. It only had six sprites in it, so you only need six columns. This affects the animation's endpoint as well. Once again, we don't need the word self dot in front of the fly anim, because we're only going to set it once. Next, we needed the same variables as the rock enemy. So we have the moving right, we have the speed, and I also added the health and invincibility timer. We also need the left edge and right edge integers. Notice how I've set them equal to zero here. That's because I set them in level three. I'll bring you over there to explain what happened. Here, I've created the turnip enemy named Turno. I've set his x equal to 400 and his y equal to 100. I've set his left edge to be 300, which is less than his starting position. I've set the right edge to be 500, which is bigger than his starting position. Next, I'll walk you through how the turnip enemy works. Inside the turnip enemy's loop, we have the same code that we do for the rock enemy. If he's moving to the right, we increase his x by the speed, and we change the scale x. The same thing happens when he's moving to the left. We decrease the speed, and we set his scale to look to the left. Next, we compare his x position to that right edge number. If the x becomes bigger than the right edge, we set moving right to equal false, which starts moving him to the left. If self.x is less than the left edge, we set moving right to true, and that starts moving him back to the right. At the bottom here is just the code to control his health and how long he's invincible. If we hit play, we can go take a look at the turnip enemy, and you can see that it continually moves to the left and right. I'm able to jump on top of him and defeat him. If you manage to figure it out on your own, great job. The next lesson will give us an alternative way to fight our enemies and collect loot from them. I'll see you there.